Greetings folks, in this video I'm going to be having a look at the new release from Speedy B. This is the F405 Wing Mini Easy Fly flight control board. The original F405 Wing from Speedy B was a bit of a, a revolution, being way cheaper than a lot of other flight control boards. Uh, so this Mini is going to be just as popular I think. There are a few additions, a few omissions and a few changes. So let's have a closer look at what comes in the box. And we have the top board, which is the power distribution board. That I say top board, but it can be the top board or the bottom board, as we'll see soon. Then the middle board, the main board there. The USB board with buzzer as well. And if we go in, we get a quick start guide there. And you'll see here we get uh, two shield boards, they're calling them. That, so that can be the mounting board or the top board. A uh, couple of options there. We'll have a look, close look at them. Capacitor there. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven different connection cables and uh, straight pins and angled pins and all the little standoffs. So let's talk about some of the features. Uh, they mentioned something about graphic tuning and wireless tuning. I haven't really caught up with that yet. I don't know what it is, but uh, in a new addition to F405 wing boards, uh, there is C1 and C2 camera switching. Uh, I don't think I've seen that before on an F405 wing board. It, uh, it's um, common on the F7 boards in the F411, but not the F405. Uh, so we've got 11 PWM outputs, nine of them on pins and uh, three available on pads. Six UARTs, one of them is reserved for Wi-Fi. Can use iNav or RG Pilot, and you can connect digital or analog video transmitters. And we have a digital or analog airspeed sensor in as well. Now I mentioned that there was no VTX, no uh, video or FPV BEC. Uh, what they've done is the video power and camera power is by default at battery power or you can switch it to be on the servo power, 5 volts or 6 volts you can switch uh, for servos. So, so that means you're using the servo BEC to also run the FPV gear. But by default it's on battery power which is what I would use because my uh, FPV gear can all run at battery power. So you have to know what your FPV gear is capable of. You know, if you've got a VTX or camera that can only handle five volts, then you must uh, switch the VTX power to five volts. And there are little solder pads somewhere, um, solder bridge pads that will allow you to do that. That'll be on the PDB. There we go here. So this is servos going from five volts to six volts. And this is the VTX switch. Uh, if you bridge these two, it is five volts. If you bridge those two, it's battery. So at, this, at the moment, it's at battery voltage, something to be aware of. And in an, another feature, the VX pins or the servo BEC pins, you can disable the onboard servo BEC and use the ESC BEC. Uh, there's another, where is that? Here you are down here, uh, that's a solder pad that you can disable the, the, the servo BEC and use an external BEC basically to run the servos if you have a high power uh, demand or something like that. A couple of different options there that aren't available on other boards. So let's go and have a look at the manual now to have a look, closer look at some of these features. Uh, SpeedyB F405 Wing Mini comes with the PDB board, FC board and shield board, two shield boards actually and the little wireless USB extender. And uh, like the F405 Wing, you can do Bluetooth connection to the app uh, or Wi-Fi to uh, RG Pilot. Two to six S, 37 by 26 by 14 millimeters and weighing 19 grams all up. Now this shows the two different configurations you can have with the PDB board on top, FC up the correct way and the bigger shield board down on the bottom as a mounting board. The alternative is to have the smaller shield board on top, the FC board flipped over, and the PDB board on the bottom. And here you can see the layout. Uh, starting down here, we have SBUS on the uh, UART2 over here. That's a dedicated inverted and uh, CRSF or all the other connections, uh, receiver connections over here on UART1. 
S1 and S2 for motors and S3 to S9 for PWM outputs, servos. And we have a GPS connection there for, that is a UART and an I2C connection for GPS and compass if you should need it. SD card slot over here, GPS solder pads as well as a socket. Now if we flip the board over and have a look underneath we can see the uh, provided socket outs or you can have all the pin outs, uh, solder pin outs, uh, solder pad outs if you want to. But we have camera 1 and camera 2, ground and VV uh, and there's the VTX TX5 for smart audio or tramp or those sorts of things. Or you've got digital camera and VTX here. Uh, of course, if you haven't got a, a DJI controller, you don't need to worry about that S bus and ground. Uh, there's UART 4 and UART 2 over here in this socket. USB extender out here. And uh, we've got uh, an I2C for digital airspeed sensor or analog airspeed uh, sensor as well. On the USB extender, you have the connector, a buzzer with an on-off switch boot button and the uh, connection socket there. Has wireless and Bluetooth on board. Uh, green solid light means the Bluetooth is on. White means uh, Wi-Fi uh, access point is on. And purple means the it can be used as a Wi-Fi station. This is for RG Pilot, whereas the Bluetooth is for uh, INEV. And to change between these Wi-Fi settings, we've got to press the boot button for six seconds uh, to switch between the four wireless modes. And as I was saying before, we've got the servo BEC here. Uh, change the servo voltage from 5 volts to 6 volts. And the VT, VTX power over here, by default it is uh, just connected to the battery. So you get the full battery voltage going to the VTX and the camera. Or you can change it to the servo BEC, which means you get whatever voltage the servo BEC is set at. 5 or 6 volts. And you can disable the servo BEC and have an external BEC if you want to, coming from the ESC or whatever external BEC you want to connect to. So that's all pretty cool and some interesting new stuff. Uh, INAV target is the SpeedyB F405 wing. And we can connect to uh, Arja Pilot like Q ground control, which is what I use. Make sure the uh, Wi-Fi indicator is white and then connect to the SpeedyB eFly Wi-Fi uh, access point. Uh, for the iNav app, you need to put it into Bluetooth mode, which is the uh, green LED, and then uh, go through and connect to the My Device, uh, which I, I will show you that in a minute. Now, these Bluetooth and Wi-Fi are just for setup. Uh, connection distance 10 to 30 meters, so you wouldn't be flying with that. And now we've got the specifications. Uh, you can see the IMU is the ICM 42688P barometer SPL 006001, normal OSD chip, six UARTs, one I2C, four IDC, uh, ADC, 12 PWMs, uh, Express LRS or Crossfire connect to UART 1 and SBUS to UART 2. Has analog, uh, supports analog R, uh, RSSI if anyone still uses that. C1 and C2 camera switching using the user mode in INAV and you do have to make sure that they're both cameras are on the same um, TV protocol or video format. And this is just reminding you in INAV if uh, you do want to mount it with the shield board on the top and the PDB in the bottom with the board uh, inverted you do have to uh, enter this into the CLI uh, set a line board roll equals 1800 so that's in tenth of degrees so that's sort of basically saying it's it's rolled uh, 180 degrees it's a pretty good manual it has uh, a lot of good information in here so it is time to uh, put it together and connect it up so it's all soldered up now uh, and connected and ready to set up using the SpeedyB app I'll just show you what I've done uh, I left out the ESC uh, pins so I can plug any ESC in there and not, not um, have the uh, onboard uh, the ESC BEC connecting just to make it a bit easier it just means I don't have to pull out the pin on the ESC I put a little bit of heat shrink over the uh, battery and ESC solder points there and I have the uh, capacitor soldered on across the ESC connections 
Uh, they're a little bit exposed, so I thought I'd better stop, uh, protect them a bit from touching anything on board. Underneath here we have all the uh, connections. We have GPS on the top, I think that's uh, digital FPV, and these are analog FPV down here. And uh, airspeed sensor on that side, I think. And see, we've got the green flashing light here. This is uh, showing that it's in Bluetooth mode. If we push and hold the button for six seconds. That is now one of the Wi-Fi modes and push and hold again. That's one of the other Wi-Fi modes. That's the Wi-Fi station mode for RG Pilot. Push again. It's, uh, Wi-Fi off now. We need Bluetooth on, so we'll push that again. There we go, we've got the green flashing light, so that's ready to be used for the iNav or the uh, SpeedyB app. Uh, so, open up the SpeedyB app on my phone. Select the SpeedyB eFly BLE. Connecting to SpeedyB. That's uh, green light's gone solid, so that's connected. And there we've got the iNav setup. So, then we can go and do all, we need, all the stuff we need to, to do, calibrate the accelerometer and all of that sort of stuff. Mixer, all the, all the usual sort of stuff. Or you can connect it to the computer via the USB-C and do all your setup on the computer using INF Configurator or RG Pilot, Q Ground Control, Mission Planner, all that sort of stuff. So, very cool. That is ready to go now, ready to put on a plane and take it out for a fly, but that will be in a future video. So, that is a cool little new board from Speedy B, Speedy B F405 Mini, uh, F405 Wing Mini Easy Fly with a few extra features, a few less features, uh, so I'll take it for a fly and uh, talk more about it in the next video. Thanks for watching, see you in the next video.